welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another DIY homemade hair care video for you. This is something that if you're tired of doing apple cider vinegar rinses or like chemical rinses on your hair, you could do this one. It's really refreshing and it's really gentle on your hair. So the main ingredient that you will need for this hair rinse is lemongrass. So I actually got a few bunches of these. This I got at the Asian supermarket. Uh, a few bunches is only like $1.39. Uh, it's really inexpensive, just like aloe vera. So it's great for your hair and it's really refreshing to drink. With that being said, let's get started. So what you're gonna need is a cutting board and a knife and your lemongrass. Take your knife and then you're gonna cut off just the very ends. You can still boil the root of the lemongrass that has a lot of nutrients in it for the hair rinse. So the ends of it though, you're gonna wanna cut it just very slightly and it's super thick and super hard so just be careful when you cut it okay press down so you're gonna get this hard root at the end off to boil it we're gonna just cut it in a little bit of pieces so first where the grass sprouts up at the end right here we're gonna cut that kind of like celery almost the reason why I cut it some people don't cut it but I do because I feel like it boils a lot easier this way so you're gonna get something like this and then the thick root just cut one more time like that oh it smells so good you have like a bunch a handful from two of them like this okay and put your lemongrass into the pot and i will show you how i boil so it. depending on how much you want to make is how much you fill your water so this is probably a medium a medium sized pot so i filled it maybe like an inch away from the top so i'm going to make a big batch of it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your stove and put it on high and bring this up to a boil. So your lemongrass should come up to a boil like this. So we are gonna let this boil for five minutes. If you wanted to just do the tea, you would bring it up to a boil like this and then uh, remove it from the heat and let it steep. But since we want all, pretty much all of the nutrients from the plant extracted, uh, we're gonna let it boil on high for five minutes. So go ahead and turn off the stove and the flame so after five minutes your tea or your rinse hair rinse should look like this so what i do is i pretty much just remove it from the heat let this sit for another about 10 to 15 minutes just to cool down with the plant inside just remove the plant from the water just be careful okay so i'm just removing all of the excess plant what we just boiled it should be like this it should be a kind of golden yellow and it should smell really lemony but really nice like sweet lemons and then this is what the plant should look like it should be a little bit more greener and like softer almost like it's it's been boiled pretty much right here i am gonna store it into this glass try to store it into a glass container i just personally like to use now glass containers for all of my diys i just feel like because of the plastic i don't know what's gonna leak into my natural concoction so i just like to use glass just to be safe Okay, so for about this much, this is a pretty good full size hair rinse. Just depending on how uh, long your hair is, depends on how much you wanna make. So this one, this full thing will be good for my hair um, to rinse it. So yeah, you get a lot of liquid. The excess, if you do make a lot of it like I did, what I like to do is just take another little glass jar and this is actually gonna be my tea for later. You can add some sugar or honey to sweeten it, but I personally just like it plain in the summer, so I am going to put this in the fridge as well so I can drink it later. Because drinking lemongrass tea also has a lot of benefits for your body as well. And this is the color that they should be. So it's a completely cool down, it's gonna take about four to five hours, so I make sure to make it during the day or the day before and store it so when I use it at night, it's gonna be nice and cool. You can use it when it's hot or like when you first make it it's perfectly fine but just me since it's summertime i like to use a cold lemongrass or hair rinse on my hair so i let it cool down in the fridge first so how i use the hair rinse is i do it on dry hair before the shower i just flip my head and then pour this out throughout my whole hair 
and just do a little bit at a time so you make sure that your whole hair is completely wet. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, again, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and it's really worked out because my hair now is almost to my butt. So, and it took a lot of natural DIYs like this, but it works, girl, so stay dedicated. Well, and then until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.